Improv. That's right, we've got jingles. Hello and welcome to Improv with... Michael Carling. Josh Fraser. Ben McPherson. Alex Southern. And our wonderful producer... Ben. Yes, that's it. Right, welcome to a show. We've got an action-packed half an hour for you now. Full of action, packed full of action. So... (laughs) It's got action. In packs. Uh, we're going to start with a game called Move On and Keep. Now, this game is a, it's a very simple game. So it's just a creaking of the mic being moved there. Mic, stop moving. You're making a creaking noise. It's my joints. Okay. <laughs> <He's> uh, very <laughs> old. We will have sets of scenes. So we'll have a scenes with uh, Michael and Josh here. And at any point, I will say Move On and Keep. And I'll take an element of their scene and transfer that through the power of my mind across to the other pairing of Alex and Ben. And they will continue the scene using that suggestion then... After their scene has progressed, I'll transfer it back again with another move on and keep. Got it? No? Okay. So, we'll begin with a suggestion of Ben. Truncheons. Truncheons. So, Michael, Josh, your suggestion is truncheons. Begin. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, what are you up to here? Um, well, I was just peeing on the sidewalk. I'm afraid, sir, that that is against the law, and uh, unless so, you so are a pregnant woman and want to pee in my hat. Right. Okay. Well, are you going to truncheon me, or what? Well, uh, I think I might. Alright, well, go for it. Move on and oh. keep. Go for it. Go for it! Go! <laughs> Jump! <laughs> Jump! Oh. 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 <sighs> you are the worst recruit I have ever seen. I'm sorry. I, 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 I'm not really cut out for this. I, I'm, I only joined because my mum told me to. She thought it would toughen me up. Move on and keep. My mum told me to. My mum told me to pee on the sidewalk, so don't hit me with a truncheon. <laughs> oh, we're back here then. I shall return to my <laughs> earlier stereotype. Move on and keep better accents. <laughs> H- hello? How are you? Move on and keep better, <laughs> better accents. <laughs> All right, governor. Chim chimney, chim chimney, chim chim churu. <laughs> Who needs Sol Campbell when we've got. Change it now. <laughs> Change and keep football. Wee Wee We know lots about football. This is move. right, isn't it? That man kicked a ball into a net. Yeah! yeah We're gonna be number one <laughs> So you know a lot about football then? Yeah Change Ch- <laughs> Change and keep a fish out of water. <laughs> oh well here we have a place, and we're going to prepare it with some chives. So, uh, <laughs> is that, just a fish out of water? It is a fish out of water. Wow, that's incredible. It's yes, good. it is. We're going to Definitely salt dead. bake it. Oh, uh, okay. So, uh, here we go. Uh, if you just slice down here and uh, take out the guts. Oh, it's disgusting. Be- yes, it is disgusting. Changing oh. keep. It's disgusting. Oh my god. Oh, oh, don't look! Don't look! Why? Why are you standing no, here naked? No, no, it, it's not. It's just. Ah! Seriously, put trousers or something I, on. Just I, cover it up. I ran out of trousers. I didn't expect you to come over. This is my private time. Move on and keep. I've run out of trousers. <laughs> I've run out of trousers, and I have to give a speech to the convention this afternoon. Don't worry. Use some toilet paper. I toilet paper. Oh, it is just as well that this convention is for mummy enthusiasts. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Move on and keep mummy enthusiasts. <laughs> oh, I do like mummies. <laughs> How many children do you have? Move Several. on and keep worrying. Worrying people. Oh, I've bitten my nails right down t- so that my fingers are now just stubs. I'm so worried. <laughs> that is pretty worrying. It is, it's concerning that I still haven't clotted. Yeah. <laughs> Move on and keep haemophilia. Oh no. I've been diagnosed with haemophilia. That's great, Bella. Oh. Move on and keep references to Twilight. <laughs> oh look, it's a beautiful man. Oh no, I can't sleep with him. He's Shh, a vampire. I must take my shirt off. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have another starting suggestion. I'd like love another quick round of that, but we need another starting suggestion, Ben. Um Worcester sauce. Worcester sauce. So this time we will start with Ben and Alex. Worcester sauce. And then you just put Worcester sauce into the soup and it's done. Oh, you are not fond of your test buds, are you? <laughs> <laughs> you do not want them on your tongue. You want to burn them off with a stingy, stingy Worcester sauce. I actually think Worcestershire sauce is a wonderful culinary delight. Oh, you are an Englishman. You are a fool. A move fool move on and keep English fool. 
You are an English fool! Oh, it's basically the same scene as before. <laughs> <laughs> hello, hello! <laughs> Right, well, you've killed Why the game. Why are you being on the <laughs> no, sidewalk? No, no, you do not continue. Michael, if I hear hello, hello from you one more time, I will come round there and I will teach you a lesson in not in geography. Goodbye, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> right, hold on. Unfortunately, I've just seen the next game is Around the World in Really Bad Accents. Oh, goody. I hope you all like this oh, game. Oh, yes, is it? <laughs> Yes, <laughs> yes it is. Right, um, before the show, I wrote down a list of accents. Um, and we will have... <laughs> Why have I chosen this guy? Uh, we will <laughs> have a continuous scene um, involving all of the people. And as you go through it, I will change the accents that you perform in. Now, because if we had all four of you speaking at once, it would be, it would be a mess. So, we're going to have Michael and Ben and Alex and Josh. And I will tell you when to flip between the people, and I will tell you when to flip accents. The accent changes will usually come between the flipping in teams, but I might just mix it up because I don't like, you know, creative like that because I don't have boundaries. Yeah, I don't like boundaries or walls. So Has the game started. No, it's not. <laughs> this is just my gangster voice. That's really inappropriate. I thought so too. Mm. <laughs> okay, so we will start uh, in neutral with the suggestion, Ben, of. Uh. Crime. Crime. So Put your hands up. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Put exactly. your hands up. <laughs> now. Oh, hands oh, up. Officer, I, I was only, I was only looking at it. Lean against the car. Oh no, no, I, I don't think. That, now what's this? Do anything. What? What's this? A bag of green plants. That's interesting. It's it's for my mother's garden. Accent change to Russian. Well, you know we do not have gardens in Russia. We just have tundra. <laughs> Lots of tundra, and it is all white with some dead brown trees on. It is for my mother's tundra, then. <laughs> you will not put green plants on tundra. They will die or be eaten by elk. Next team. <laughs> Still in Russian. Hello, Vladimir. What are you doing here today? Well, I, I was getting some plants for my mother's tundra. We have no plants in Russia. What are you talking about? Well... There are clearly plants because I have them in my bag. Yes, but those are dead. No, they aren't. They are green. Look, you see? Accent switch to Fay German. What do you mean they are green? Get them away from me! <laughs> well, I thought it would be great for us together. No, I, I don't want to touch you. <laughs> <laughs> I never said you had to touch me. I just thought you might want to touch my green, I green plants. I so oh, teams. Oh, so long. Oh, you like how I've painted them, yes. So yes. they look alive, but this they are dead. Yes, I find this amusing. I, uh, ha ha ha, chortle, chortle, chortle. I As love you your say, laugh. Uh huh, yes. It is heartwarming. It's, it shows I have a very, very rich sense of humor, yeah? Uh, Accent switch yeah. to Liverpool. Hey. 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 I don't think you can do a good accent, and neither can I. <laughs> <laughs> Where's that? What's that, Maka? I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> not I. Hey. 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 Well, I'll make this easier. <laughs> Ac accent change to Welsh. Well, this one I actually can do, so shall we go back to the actual scene? <laughs> Just remind me what it was, yeah. <laughs> we're, well, we're painting plants green so as to populate the valleys, so it is a lovely, lovely place to live. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> that one you can do, can you? Okay, switch teams. Oh, we're back to Welsh now, are we? Oh, bloody hell! <laughs> I can't believe it! Oh, look, a sheep! I think I'll go take a shag. Before well, I must uh, paint it green! Switch teams! Paint it green! Switch teams! <laughs> switch teams to South African. Oh, yes, mate. So, uh, that was a bit uh, risque there from uh, Josh, but uh, no crime there. Bring it back to the original theme. I, I really can't. <laughs> no, I don't do accents very well. I'm sort of going Eastern European, a little bit Igor with this. But um, he also likes Igor. Igor all round. Oh, that is better. I feel much more at home I here. Igor. 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 <laughs> yes. Well, I was planning on using these plants to make a rockery. That is a good idea, master. Yes, yes master. <laughs> It is an interesting. That's all ego says. It is an interesting relationship dynamic we have. Where we are both in charge of each other. Switch teams and Dutch. What do you say as a Dutch accent is? 
I have no idea. I shall speak in all the accents at once. Yes, I think I'm going to flaunt my sexy stuff down Amsterdam, yeah? Yeah, that would be great, I say. Uh, I Switch teams, Queen's English. <laughs> well, this one I actually can do. Yes, I just have to talk mm. normally. Yes. Huh. Well, I, I decided to put the rockery in Mama's garden, um, and I was going to use these dead twigs, which I've painted green, to sort of add a little je ne sais quoi to it. Oh, yes, I understand. That is a, that is a fine choice. Mm. Uh, mm. Uh, though I, th I think you need to add a few uh, floral elements, so maybe um, paint, some, paint some leaves purple or, or, mm. or yellow oh, or something. Oh, really bring ki it kind, of, kind of like the, uh, oh, what are the poinsettia at Christmas? You know, they've got the red leaves and yeah, the green leaves, yeah, and the flowers are actually a small oh, it, yellow exactly, little bubbly yeah. bit in the middle. And we'll end it there. <laughs> thank you. Well, oh, thank you. That was thank an you. interesting game. And it's we called like Really Bad Accents for a reason. No, it is. It is. We, d we did make the point, and yeah. we'd like to uh, apologise generally. For that game, we're okay. all brilliant impressionists, really. Yeah, it's, and it's, it's, a it's just we're doing the game, which is really bad accents. Yeah, yeah, we were yeah. just trying our best not to be racist. Yeah, well, we didn't we didn't succeed particularly well. I don't think it was. I'm so sorry. We'll have a song now. This is "Dancing in the Moonlight" by Top Loader. Now it was "Dancing in the Moonlight" by Top Loader. No, 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 Tim, I think it was. It was I "Dancing think it was, I think it was in the Moonlight" she, okay. by Top Loader. Okay. Sit down. So I hope you enjoyed Top Loader there. Now we have a game called World Experts. We have in the studio three of the world's greatest experts on three subjects. Alex, you are? Uh, I'm an expert in cheese making. Joshua, you are? I love a good garden gnome. He loves garden gnomes. And Michael? I'm an expert in Freemasonry. Now, uh, Ben will come in and he will interview our world experts. But ben got drunk last night, didn't do his research, doesn't know who these people are, doesn't know what their expertise is in, so they need to, he needs to work it out. So, Alex, if you'll just uh, bring Benjamin in. He's coming into the studio. Here he comes. There's Ben McPherson. Ooh. <laughs> you said my name correctly. I did. Well I've done. been practicing. Right, so you have three world experts in the studio. Oh my god! You, Wonderful. You, you don't know who they are. I, 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 it's frightfully embarrassing. Oh, it's terribly embarrassing. So you're going to interview them and try and work out who they are. Yes. Begin. Okay. Right. Well, of course, uh, whilst uh, we on your end are proud to have an esteemed list of uh, contacts and people we can talk to about any subject round the world, I'm going to start here with Alex. Alex, tell us a little bit about the research you've been doing. Well, I've been looking a lot into cows most recently in order to find the cow that produces the most luxurious of milks for use in my particular product. I, I really find that a cow that produces a rough milk does not create the, the greatest of uh, items, whereas a smooth, a smooth, fine milk does really, really improve the quality. Mm. Mm, it really sounds like you're uh, churning things up there. Oh, oh it's a pun. <laughs> Alex, are you a butter expert? Oh no, oh. no, I, I, I'm not. I do not. I do not look at butter. Ben, you're gonna have to come back I to that one. I uh, find that quite offensive actually because they're a bunch of idiots. That's that's sad. And he's just butters. Way. Oh. <laughs> so the comedian. <laughs> Absolutely not. Well, tell us tell us a little bit about your new paper you've published. Yes, well, this paper studies the smoothness of these beautiful objects with which you can place anywhere, just as long as the smoothness fits in with the flowers that are placed right next to it. And as you'll see, with this perfect example of what I've brought into the studio, it is actually invisible, as you can see right now. Mm. <laughs> and yet the hat... Is so smooth it would fit quite nicely next to a tulip, mm. whereas the nose is a little bit more rough, which mm. is exactly how I like it. Mm. Well, yes, it's an uh, interesting garden gnome you've brought in with you. Yes. Oh, how on earth did you? Wow! What? Okay. Very good. Very well it was. Done. It was the hat oh, that the gave it away. On, as you the know, tribology the of garden gnomes. Fair enough. Um, and of course we have our final esteemed visitor, Mr. Mike Carling. Yes. Uh, Mr. Carling, would you please tell us about the series of documentaries that the BBC have paid you to make? <laughs> uh, well, uh, for one thing, I'm working quite hard within, uh, within my circle of friends to make sure that that documentary does not make it out. <laughs> but uh, with regard to your work, I, they, they were quite against... Uh, Putting you, uh, putting you on there, but I like your work, so I really pushed hard. So it's, it's good seeing you doing well on, on URN as it is now. Well, but you, you wouldn't have known about my, 
my efforts to get you on the air, of course, but I, I did it. Well, it it's <laughs> nice to have an expert on me here. No. Oh, uh, no. now I'm sad. No. Um, but yes, of course, uh, I can't be your only project in life. Um, tell us a little bit more about the uh, papers you have recently published. Well, I mean, you say published, I mean, <laughs> sent out in secret code amongst my uh, circle of friends. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I see what you mean. You, you know how to handle yourself? No, 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 no. Uh, don't, don't worry. I'm not, a, I'm not an expert in you, of course, as you said. I mean, I, I, I wouldn't like to think of myself as so much an expert as, as, as an influence on um, what's going on people's lives. And a sort of overwatching an expert on the people who overlook society and what they're up to. It's getting more confusing. <laughs> Back to my first guest. <laughs> so, yes, I hear you recently went on the uh, This Evening programme and uh, gave a sort of five-minute lecture there. Would you like to just summarise that for our listeners? Well, I gave a, uh, a talk about consistency, I gave a talk about flavour, I gave a talk about mould. <laughs> I see. It's cheesy, really, isn't it? No. Yay. Oh. Yes, it does. Yes, <laughs> there we go. And uh, back, back to Mr. Carling. Yes. You've recently released your first solo album. <laughs> <laughs> Care to tell us the title of it and uh, some of the tracks? It's called Secrets. Uh, <laughs> the title track will be um, You Never Knew I Was There. <laughs> you thought this was your decision, but it's not. <laughs> We're everywhere, you just don't know it. <laughs> Secret ring on your 21st birthday. Uh, and um, Of course, that last one is um, noted for explicit content, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, right. Uh, of course, I'd be right in saying you're an expert in uh, espionage and spying. I'm afraid you're going to have to get a little bit more specific, uh, Michael. Okay. We've all got places to be. <laughs> I mean, my... my I uh, collaborated on the al album with uh, the head of the neighbourhood watch and the uh, the local vicar um, and chief constable, chief constable, and uh, all other politicians, high, other people high up in the society. You know the the right fellows and chaps. Uh, we meet up in the back room of the of the pig uh, and whistle. I, I bet. Are you are you the uh, are you a mason? Are you an expert yes. in masonry? Yes. the Freemasons. Well done. <laughs> Last it's very did. difficult to, it is. to be an expert in something that's deliberately mysterious. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually I went to the Freemasons headquarters not because I'm a Freemason. I'm not a free I'm not a Freemason. He's got it. He's got a chisel. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> no, but underneath the Freemasons headquarters in London, they've got like an underground pleasure dome place and they quad bike around. There's quad bikes. Oh, it's great. <laughs> anyway, I think I might be assassinated. That's a now. nice tattoo you've got all over your back. <laughs> no, I haven't. You saw nothing. <laughs> Call in the hit. Right now, we're going to have a game called Flip Flop Debate. Our two, uh, our, oh, sorry, our two teams will form into one person. So, uh, Michael, you will be melding with Josh. Meld with him. Oh, that's nice. Meld, 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 meld. Ben, you will be melding with Alex. A pleasure oh. as always. Oh. Fusion. So they're now just two people in the room. Both of them are politicians. Boo! But both Boo. of them are doing speeches. Yay? I don't know. Boo. <laughs> but they are in two minds about this thing. While they're making a speech, I will say flip-flop, and they will have to completely change their opinion, but justify the things they've said before. Oh, oh it might be difficult. Yes, it might. So, Ben, we need a topic for uh, our teams to debate. Club... Oh, oh, uh, some sort of... Some sort of issue. Oh, Keep um... It light. Keep it light. Um, oh, I'm trying to. Oh, I'm totally stuck. Ben, 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 Ben. First, you get the Make song heavy down this. I believe that the moon landing was faked. Moon landing faked. So, Michael, other Michael, also known as Josh, uh, you. We can break apart. <laughs> don't break apart. You keep melded I'm, I'm over sorry. there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're in trouble. <laughs> Hold me, Alex. Michael, your part of the brain is for the fact that the moon landing was faked. You think it was fake. Josh, your part of the brain thinks the moon landing was real. Why wouldn't you believe that? We will start with Michael. So the uh, moon landing, of course, was faked. You can see by the images. Why is there wind on the uh, on the moon? Who would have thought that anyone would be that stupid as to fake that? Then they say that there are footprints on the moon. I haven't seen them. Flip. I haven't been to the moon to, to check this out. I don't know anyone who has been. Flip-flop. On the other hand, 
maybe it's not about the footprints, but the essence of the moon itself. <laughs> maybe if you dig a little deeper, you can find within yourself that, in fact, man has been to the moon. And quite simply, if you deny it, then you're a fool. Flip flop. The crux of the issue is that the moon is in fact a NASA conspiracy. <laughs> and that the earth is entirely flat and the sky was painted is painted on every morning and every evening by dwarves. <laughs> Flip flop. On the other hand, people used to think the earth was flat, and look at them now. They're loons. So, essentially, why should I believe crackpots that are still present in our modern day society? Flip flop Surely such as myself. <laughs> Who believes that the world is entirely flat and there are giant ice walls at the end of the earth guarded by people called Stephen <laughs> Flip Flop? On the other hand, Stephen <laughs> is a very gentle soul. Would he really be the kind of man who would guard this thing at the end of the earth? I don't think so. Final Flip Flop. Who on earth would want to land on the moon? It's completely crazy to land on a painting. That's <laughs> crazy. It would be crazy. He's got a point. It would be crazy to land on a painting. And therefore, I agree with Michael. <laughs> right. Let's have another okay. go at that, shall we? <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> Alex and Ben, you will be debating on the topic of... Oh, I should have thought of one. Should have, should have. Um... Freemasons rule the known world. Freemasons rule the known world. We already know that Michael controls large sections of URN. But, <laughs> Ben, your part of the brain believes that Freemasons rule the entire world, whereas Alex, <laughs> quite sceptical about the whole thing. Okay, so let's begin. Freemasons rule the entire world. This cannot be denied. Quite simply, I have a chisel against my throat for daring to speak out against this. What other evil organisation would dare to hold a chisel against somebody's throat? It's simple. Freemasonry ruling the world. Flip flop. Except, do they? <laughs> <laughs> Why, if they were to truly rule the world, how could they do that in their secretive ways? We don't know anything about them except for the fact that they ride quad bikes under the earth. Can you imagine a, a, a group of people so wonders, wonderfully happy in the fact that they can ride quad bikes beneath the earth and just go through all their tunnels pulling off tricks and combos and pulling speed boosts with their NOS? Flip flop. But then again, of course, if they are a top secret society, who are we to define their whims? They are ineffable. They are beyond our understanding. And as they're seething around underground on their quad bikes, who knows what devilish deeds they are planning? Flip flop. The kind of devilish deeds where they will go, okay, I'm going to be the next red devil. I shall ride this motorbike. <laughs> This motorbike, or this quad bike, I shall ride it down the cliff. Down, 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 into the water below, and there it shall transform into a magical submarine. <laughs> and in that magical submarine, who knows what they are planning. They could be planning the founding of America, if you believe Nicolas Cage in many of his films. No it's one believes quite... Nicolas Cage. No, <laughs> it's good, it's good. No one should believe Nicolas Cage. But the fact is, Nicolas Cage is a Mason's agent. He <laughs> is there to spread the rumour that they do not exist and they are not controlling the world. flip flop a quick apology to Nicolas Cage's lawyers. Except in this submarine, really, all they're doing is looking at fish. Little, little fishies. Fishies with Nicolas Cage. You know what Nicolas Cage loves more than anything else? Aquariums. Freemasons love aquariums. Could you honestly believe that anyone could be evil if they love aquariums? No. I love no aquariums. Often. I'm not evil. And that seems to wrap it up. I'm, I'm convinced. Ben, are you convinced? I'm... I'm Totally convinced. Totally convinced. Well, Alex, you've won the debate by sheer fact that I've decided that you've won the debate. Uh, right, we're going to have a, another quick song. It's. Uh, um, are you sure? Uh, yes, it's, it's Never Miss a Beat by the Kaiser Chiefs. I know, but we've only got four minutes left of the show. And I think oh. it's time to plug. Oh, is it time to plug? I think it's time to plug. Is it time to plug? Oh, I thought we had more time than we did. Okay, okay. Well, you know, I'll just wipe the tears away from my eyes. No. Okay, plugging. Now, I know you don't like plugging, but it's happening now, so, you know. <laughs> Black Comedy. It's a extraordinary new Peter J. Fast. By oh. new, I mean it's from 1964, but it's new in the fact that we're doing a production at the New Theatre from the 13th to the 17th with two performances on Saturday. A matinee performance, have lunch, watch a show, laugh out loud. Ha ha ha. It's going to be good. I'm in it, so, you know. And now, a quick plug from our president. <laughs> <That> was... <laughs> 
Thank you very much for the fanfare. Um, we have our first comedy night of the year this Tuesday at Ooh. the Bay and Nails. Very successful last year, of course. Two pounds entry. Doors open at six, uh, seven thirty rather, and the show starts at eight. There will be stand up. There will be our debut performance from our new, from our newly rebranded troupe, the Red Herrings. Ooh. And um, they sound good. They do sound. They sound good. delicious. It's <laughs> just them stop them in the batter. cast. Okay. <laughs> Well, Cover them in oil. If you are not freaked out by that <laughs> comment, <laughs> and Please believe me up. in saying that they are more or less well-rounded people, uh, sane and so on, then come along, bag of nails, 7.30, two pounds, comedy, stand-up, improv, Tragedy. love. Lovely. And just those dates again, 13th to the 17th at the new theatre. It's gonna be ace. Okay, now we have a song. It's Kaiser Chiefs with Never Miss a Beat. No, I don't think no it's, it's Kaiser it's, Chiefs. I think it says Dancing in the Moonlight. No, 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 we, we, we played that before. I, no, well, it was, we're actually playing Dancing in the Moonlight then, and now we're, now we're playing it now, but you, you've said it the wrong way, way around. It's You're saying I've made a mistake. No, no, I'm, I'm not saying that. Say, just, Tim, I mean, put the gun I down. Think, I think no. you should play the song. <sighs> this is uh, Never Miss a Beat by Kaiser Chiefs. Please don't hurt me. Bye. 